do wish you could, you know, skip through this stuff. That loaded a lot faster than I would have thought. I'll be honest. Use 13. Let's see if that used any of my arrows. Nope. Good. I didn't think it would, but I still wanted to check.
The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there is a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I've got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least soon and we'll feast. to attack on site if everyone's dead. Yeah, just saying. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum, notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they're called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. If we know anything we can act on.
The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests that he's an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I can't say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good lord, Erte. The Compass is a mystery. He's mentioned often, but there's little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. And maybe he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let's not waste any more time. We will find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. Stowe, I'll catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.
certainly range damage is pretty good right now. market a lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this why not wear a cloak hide my face not a chance it does the people good to see a lawman on the hunt and once we've found the arrow this order needs to know we'll be after the leech and the compass as well any noise yet about the arrow and recruits I've heard whispers somewhere here a man gives you a coin and this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the arrows men which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor, what was your impression of Erke? Erke has been a great help. Why doubt him now? Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But, but you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It's good to talk, unburden your soul, clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. Thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. For the archery contest? Keep off, boyo. This is my coin, my shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. I heard the take for this job is three stubs of silver a month. Is that true? Yo. And they pay you more if you drag your brothers into it. Husa's earned a fortune skimming the docks of London Beach. Stop freaking out. to the casks. Oh, see it this way is right.
Not much further. Sorry. The ale is all gone. Stop bouncing around. Sure, you think you will. your business? Shooting or watching? You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's a new competitor. A Norse from the Norden wilds of Mercia. Ah, 
and our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set, arrows not fire. A perfect strike. We are halfway down the sand. A cheat! A cheat! It was a fair shot! Carry on! Hold in, Spear! Did you see that? Incredible! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us, and he'll know it's you. Who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. If you're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth and keep still. Friends, brethren, good people of London, we have had a hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Let trigger die. Knocked. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks true. A man without an enemy 
defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire! <laughs> Overmove me, Laren, then never yet on a bay. unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgus, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. ...to harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it... ...and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true. And it's cold comfort... ...when glory has the taste of your family's blood. With Avgas gone, I'll turn my attention to the leech. Erkes should be down at the Keys. He'll be waiting for you. If the compass should emerge, we'll let you know. Then I'll be at St. Paul's Church, waiting for the good word. Take care, Broga.
Is this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. There must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Stowe has seen the same. It's not only the docks. How is that Sparrow Hut? I worry for him. Soft, but unsullied. He helped me find Avgus, and that's enough. Avgus? I had a hunch or two about that arse blister. Should have acted. Any hunches about the leech you want to share? Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya! I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and fear the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything <laughs> else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna. Lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That's a good place to start. Thank you, Gida. A shady smith. A missing child. It's a leap with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these dogs. Do I look like one who could? That's their song. I know it from somewhere. That's the healer's song, isn't it? She's always singing it. Come. Show me your valor in battle. Of the earn your place at the great table. Hey, howdy there. Have a look, Sunan. Follow him. See where this leads.
That guy's booking it. This place is heavily guarded.
No closer. <gasps> You got the purse I'm out. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm a friend, Oya. Your money's with your lad. What have you to do with him? I'm keeping him safe. Had a fear he was being followed. Tch, I knew he was soft. Not like my other girl. She was hard as hog's breath, that one. What happened to her? Fell ill a few days back. So I sent her to good sister Friedeswith. Healer in town. Sister Friedeswith. Got broken bones? A boil on your bum? Or too much birth blood? She'll mend you quick. She would need a broad set of tools for such work. She would. And she has it. Comes to me for all her wants, and I craft for her what she needs. Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> See you, old friend. Shouldn't be seen. Better be hooded. This is where the leech dissects her prey.
Thank you, Vecna. I should not be seen in this area. One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That's enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The ancient ones. The Arbiters. They built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break. So difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger. Faster. Smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, freed us with. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? It is done. Ah! The leech is bled out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Fredeswith. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> God! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. Brick of shit sounds about right. She was making dog meat out of Rechna when I found her. Fuck! You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida Sweet. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. 
All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? I think it's better to keep it, but that's just me. It has cures for everything. From boils to broken bones, it's worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book, this is your good sister's battlefield, her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broca. not to draw attention here. Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Abgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let's hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let's go over all that's happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother in arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Frieswith. She was the leech and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It's time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart, squeezed raven ink from a loathsome leech. Now we wait, wolf tensed, for the master of the river rib to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all its meat. What's on your mind, Stowe? We know the compass is a sailor. Captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you'll want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. 
coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out. Abel! Steeple! The yard still spun for us, my stone. We've many years yet. Come on! Locked inside. Let them burn. of the hellfire you'll see! View of the city from the roof. There is a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springles at Avgosport, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I want those Springles on our side. I'll follow you, Stowe. Up on the ramparts. We'll redirect their fire. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Follow me to the rampart, team! They'll have no chance! Forward! Forward! Kill them all! 
Let's turn these Springles back on the compass. Look out! Afghos and Frida's we were too confident. I don't know. Howdy there. The compass, large, large enough to fall an ocean. burn every last man, woman, and child in this shithole city!
burning to ash what you cannot possess. That's a child's way out. To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shit house. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That's enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that tide. we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the right to wear it now. I am touched, Erke. I'll carry it with pride. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news.
Salutations! What do you have today? Have you got our loyalty rune? For next time. I have to go. See you soon. Go with your gods. Eivor, again, your people impress me with your skill. The invaders barely stood a chance. The Order has been purged from London. For now, they hold no power there. That is good news. And I would celebrate, but for the fact that Jorvik now suffers from the same infestation. Jorvik is a city under Norse control. I should have less problem finding allies here. That is a hopeful way of seeing it. Speak to Ranvi when you wish to travel there. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. Hey, my boy. Like that he's my wolf. Or she. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. London is with us and cleansed of the order. Good. Hytham will be pleased. Some interesting news. King Cheolvul has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. I should talk to Hytham. Ranvi, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now. But I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grandebridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? Randy, take a break. Let's make for Grandebridge Shire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this, so why not? Stretch your legs and fill your lungs. I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandebridge Shire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? 
I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. She looks young to be ready. That is a good sort. Damn it. You well. I have other concerns right now. We were I know it's an achievement to swim like 3,000 meters or something. I'm gonna do it when I need to. Like now. Is lovely here. I have not been this far east of the settlement. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life in so small a pen, hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. been at the table so long that you forget how well I wield a sword. That was thrilling. Ranvi the Ravager. I should clear a seat on my longship for you. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Grandebridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. Welcome to Grandebridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. 
and everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here, too. Well, 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 it's the day boy, I see. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah, good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Oxenavode. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have been kept nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will we you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. I sent some flirting. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. You wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hot for a battle, so here we go. You die now. I'll snap your neck. There, that's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse.
That was a free labor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the gods he is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Ramsey, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. <laughs> what are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. I'm gonna get skunked. He's done you better. Eivor is a beast, but you have my fealty, Ranvi. should not have tried to outdrink me, Ranvi. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is... Thank you, Ranvi. So... Are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come. We'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi... It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels.
romance her now. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that... Disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskuna as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. Look there! That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <laughs> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. <laughs> Well, well. Look at this. <gasps> A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower and furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. 
It may be we would have sailed together over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream, and... ...and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I am sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Yes, I'm going to get a horrible tongue lashing from Sigurd. But... This was the romance I was after from the beginning, so... Randy? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. I have a feeling gonna come here, so it's gonna beat the crap out of us. I have something here for you. Tidings that may displease you. Tell me. You remember Kjotve's son, Gorm? He has since taken his father's place in the order. Interesting. Is Gorham here in England? Is he another blotch on our list? He is one of our targets, yes. But he is not in England. He is further west, in fact. A land called Vinland, discovered centuries ago by an Irish sailor called Brendan. The Order of the Ancients has some recent fascination with Vinland, but I 
I cannot say what it might be. Let me find out for you, after I silence Gorm. Finland is far away, according to my source. It may take weeks to find him after a long and perilous journey. There is no danger that would cow me, Hytham. I'll speak with Ranvi and arrange passage. Was there something else? I have to go. Then go in peace. I know you. You were too young to remember me, but I stayed with your household many years ago. This is for you. The mead horn of Suttunger. How is this possible? Can you conjure things from dreams? Pech, it's only a model. I fashioned it from a story told to me by your father, but since he's dead, I offer it to you. It is exactly like I saw it. In my head. As Varen described it to me. Have you made other things from stories? Only if the storyteller is very good. Your father was. You would have made a good scald. Could you do it from dreams or visions? Bring something into this world from another? Not all dreamers speak, but fewer yet speak clearly. Seers talk too much and cloud your vision with... What's this about bringing things into this world from another? Mm, more like... Uh... Imagining it into our world. When I have the image, its design speaks to me in a language I do not know, and yet understand. This is Suttunger's meat horn, Valka, from Jotunheim, as Varen described it to him. I do not like this business of trafficking in visions. But if it revives good memories of your father, there may be value in it. I will bring you a potion that will let Eivor dream and speak clearly. If you take advantage, your death will be painful. Nah, you need not go to so much trouble. You could give me the recipe. I will bring you a potion. Do not dig too deeply. We do not know the true cost of this. There'll be no cost to the gods. You heard him. He does not take things from their realms. He imagines them, then crafts them. Not the cost to the gods. To you. I will get the workshop ready. Come by when you want to get started. darling. Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, oh, indeed. Back to work then. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let me know when you wish to leave.
those Dane invaders? They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finir myself. A good plan. All right, all. I'm going to cap it here, and next time we'll do East Anglia, and I'd like to do a few more of the uh, Forgotten Tombs. I should say it first. All right, thanks for tuning in.